that dog. She never wanted to play with us, Prince. What we can do without her, we'll be the Pony Express. We've got to get the mail through. Get up, Prince! just a little thoughtless about Lassie? You don't have to worry about Lassie, Mom. She'll be home as soon as she gets hungry. Come on, Prince. Come on. Come on. say this much for him. He's taking good care of that horse. I wish he'd do as much for Lassie. Well, something wrong? Well, haven't you noticed? Lately he's spending all his time with Prince. As though Lassie doesn't exist. Oh, I wouldn't say that. And after all, the horse is a novelty. It's quite understandable. Well, I think Lassie's feelings are hurt. She hasn't been around all afternoon. Don't you worry about Lassie. She'll be home before dark. she wouldn't fall off. We sure had a lot of fun with Prince. Oh, hello, girl. Welcome home. Well, we're glad to see you, too. I knew she'd come home as soon as she got hungry. And what was the idea of running off in the middle of a game today? Well, I'll forgive you this time. But you might as well learn to be friends with Prince. Now go on and eat your supper.
He's headed toward that road. Lassie will find him. Lassie? She was gone when I got up this morning. Lassie! Come on, let's go find that horse. Link to me. It may be broken. Broken? Oh, no, Dad. Well, we won't know for sure until Doc Hayden looks at it. Listen, Timmy, you and Lassie stay here until I go get the trailer. Okay. Clean lateral brake with no splintering. Does that mean we're going to? I'm afraid so, Timmy. Oh, not so fast, Paul. Well, there was a time when the only cure for a horse with a broken leg was a bullet, but uh, that doesn't necessarily hold today. You mean we might not have to shoot Prince? Well, we can try a sling. A sling? Mm-hmm. I think it's only fair to tell you, Paul, I never used one before. Well, we haven't much choice. If there's a chance to save the horse, let's try it. I think it's the right thing to do. That's going to be all right. Oh, how could you do such a thing to the poor animal? Now the horse is all right, Ruth. It's not in pain. Well, how do you know? Well, I know, Ruth. He's full of tranquilizer and painkiller. Looks to me as though he's in misery. Ruth. Ruth, we've just got to take a chance that that sling will work. Well, what would you do if it doesn't? Well, we'll just have to shoot the horse, replace it. A coat like that costs $350 or more.
Well, I say the horse is entitled to a chance to live. Are you sure you're not just thinking about the $350 it'll cost to replace him? Yes. Yes, I suppose I am. Seems to be doing okay. Are you letting him down a few minutes each day? Just like you told us to. Fine, that relaxes him, keeps his circulation in good order. Anything else we can do for him? Not that I know of. There's his best medicine. As long as he has Lassie for company, he won't be so nervous and restless. Before Prince broke his leg, my thought Lassie didn't like him. But now she stays with him day and night. And she's appointed herself his special nurse. Lucky for us, she has. I'll drop by again day after tomorrow. Hi, Doug. Aren't you back ahead of time? I, I thought you'd gone east for the summer. Oh, a month of that was enough for me. I left Mrs. Walker and Alice back there, though. Oh, uh, Alice would never forgive me if I didn't see the cold first thing. Something wrong, Paul? Yeah, Doug. Yeah, there is. Come on. I'm not questioning how he got a broken leg, but I wouldn't put any animal through this kind of torture. It's not torture, Doug. We're trying to save the horse. Well, no horse of mine is going to be strung up like a sack of meal. Now, put a bullet through his head and get him out of his misery. It's your horse, but he's in my custody. I'm not going to do it. Then I'll get a court order and you'll have to. Hi, Prince. Well, how you doing, huh? Oh, you couldn't sleep either, huh? I kept worrying about Prince. And yeah, me too. You know, I wonder if we're doing the right thing. Suppose Doug Walker and your mother are right. Dad, when last knew if Prince was suffering? Animals have an instinct for such things. Lassie, you'd tell us if Prince was in pain, wouldn't you? <laughs> See, Dad? I believe Lassie. And so do I. I feel a lot better now. Come on, let's go to bed. Bye, Prince. Night, Lassie. I'm going to pick up a post hole digger from the co-op, and I'll be right back. All right.
Kevin, you got here. That was a close call. Paul, I've got a court order. That horse is mine, and I've got a legal right to destroy it. You'll have to excuse Lassie, Doug. She thought you were going to shoot Prince. I was. Headed toward that road. Lassie will find him. Lassie? She was gone when I got up this morning. Lassie! Come on, let's go find that horse. See you too. I knew she'd come home as soon as she got hungry. And what was the idea of running off in the middle of a game today? Well, I'll forgive you this time. But you might as well learn to be friends with Prince. Now go on and eat your supper.
kids. Where's Lassie? Lassie? Oh, I thought she came home a long time ago. No. Aren't you being just a little thoughtless about Lassie? You don't have to worry about Lassie, Mom. She'll be home as soon as she gets hungry. Come on, Prince. Come on. Come on. say this much for him. He's taking good care of that horse. I wish he'd do as much for Lassie. Well, is something wrong? Well, haven't you noticed? Lately he's spending all his time with Prince. As though Lassie doesn't exist. Oh, I wouldn't say that. And after all, the horse is a novelty. It's quite understandable. Well, I think Lassie's feelings are hurt. She hasn't been around all afternoon. Don't you worry about Lassie. She'll be home before dark. for a while. Well, sitting on a horse isn't very much fun. Didn't you let her ride him? Uh-huh. After I was sure she wouldn't fall off. We sure had a lot of fun with Prince. <laughs> 